Hello friends, how's everybody doing? We're coming back at you from Southeast Texas. It's December 11, 2022. And we're almost at the end of the year. Thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes out of your time to share with you guys how much I feed my birds and how much a 40 pound bag will last you. I say 40 pound bags because Neutrina sells their bags in 40 pounds, at least the old flock. Now I don't want to get too much into the math of this, but a 40 pound bag will give you 113 cups of feed. And an adult bird in my yard eats half a cup a day. So if you divide 113 cups by half a cup, or 0.5 you will get 226 half cups or 226 226 feeding times and that's close to a year I also did the math for five birds all you do is divide 226 half cups by five which equals to 45 half cups or a month and a half I feed them half a cup a day, but I break it down in two feedings, two feeding times. I give them breakfast in the morning, one fourth of a cup, and for dinner, I give them another fourth of a cup. Now I do this because this gives the birds enough time to properly digest their food. Helps the gizzard uh, break down all that food, doesn't overwork it, and it also helps you to not back anything up. If you back, uh, if the food gets backed up, your birds will probably get the greens. So that's what, um, that's why I feed them. That's why I break it down. I also, um, this particular bag, I like it. I like Neutrina because it has, it's a well-balanced, well-balanced feed. I personally like the, the manganese, uh, it's a really good mineral for bone structure, bone development, cartilage development, and and uh, also promotes good, healthy, strong eggshells. So this is a perfect feed for your for your breeding material. I like the selenium part of it. Uh, it works with the vitamin with the about perfect with the amount of vitamin E that this feed has. Uh, now selenium and vitamin E uh, increases the effects of antioxidants in the vitamin E or in general uh, and this helps uh, improve the amount of flesh the amount of meat development and feather development also uh, it has perfect levels of salt not too much not too little you got to watch out for that liver also has a good amount of vitamin A and vitamin D3 which is good for all feeds, but manganese is something I really look out for, and copper sulfate. Uh, copper sulfate is a perfect, perfect mineral too for uh, parasites. It helps maintain the colonies of parasites to a minimal. It's pretty much maintenance. Also helps uh, with mineral, I mean vitamin, uh, nutrient absorption. Hence, uh, yeah, has a perfect uh, amount of gut bacteria too. Perfect amount of probiotics in it too, which is, I mean, you have the copper sulfate to keep down the bad bugs, but it also provides uh, probiotics. So it's a pretty good combination. Um, now a lot of people, there's a con controversy that they say you need grain uh, for gizzard development, which, I mean, you need grain, and I use grain. I use grain uh, during the mold season. I had some crack horn, sunflower seeds, and some oats for the mold season. And then I switched the feed to feather fixer, neutrino feather fixer. Then I'll switch it back to this. Now during the cold, cold uh, winter times, it's Texas. We hardly get any. We get three months of winter. So, but when it gets cold, it gets cold. At least for us, it feels real cold because I'm not used to it. <laughs> but the birds feel it too. So I do provide 
cracked corn and a little bit of sunflower seed mainly cracked corn um, what the corn does it produces some heat in the body so it, it, it's sort of like a like a like a small furnace in their stomach keeps their whole body warm so it keeps the birds warm during the winter times I give it I make sure I give it to them very slowly because the gizzards, since I feed them nothing but pellet, the gizzards not used to breaking down solids, so I have to introduce it to them kind of slowly. But once they get used to it, I just keep it up at a minimal level, just enough to keep them warm for the winter time. Uh, the controversy also is that you got to develop a strong gizzard, and uh, I got to disagree with that. That's just my personal opinion. A gizzard is just a muscle. As long as you take care of it, break down their feeding time, you'll be good to go. Reason why... I don't feed a lot of grain and I don't add too many supplements it's because I really care for the birds organs especially the liver the liver is working 24 7 and you don't want to put too much pressure in there uh, you don't want to put too much stress on it uh, if you add fat like corn or excessive amount of grains that will produce a lot of gut fat it'll produce a lot of fat around the gizzard around the around the liver and you don't want to put too much stress on that liver. Also, a lot of supplements out there, all the salt contents on it, they uh, they put they damage the liver. I've uh, which breaks me. Now this is this is just a personal opinion from my experiences, uh, which brings me to the next video I'm about to make. Uh, so please make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that bell button, so you could uh, so you could catch the next video coming up. It's gonna be about the about why I let my birds, the ones that I obviously have to cull, why I let them get six, seven months. I don't cull them right away. I let them develop and grow into a pretty big size because I don't like wasting food. Uh, we want it to be a perfect size for us to eat them. And that's why we keep them clean and we make sure that they're very healthy. So, I also want to take an opportunity as I'm as I'm culling the birds. I'm gonna butcher them, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna point out some of the organs and how the organs look. Uh, the gizzards are all obviously gonna be smaller than than your uh, grain fed birds because the gizzards not working as much. But uh, I will point out the liver and the, the the fat internal fat in them, and I I want to point out also. Uh, what happens to the liver when you add too many supplements uh, it'll either enlarge the liver it'll keep the liver um, you'll see spots on it white spots on it or you'll see it uh, the color is not gonna be a, a liver a healthy liver is supposed to be bright red not too big not too small and the vial also the, the vial in it uh, that it produces but I will point out when I when I make that video so stay tuned and thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoy the video the content and uh, hear me out this is just my personal opinion from my personal experience I don't uh, I know everybody has their own way and they are working on perfect their own way of doing things and I respect that um, I just wanted to share with you guys my my personal approach to this thanks for watching and you guys stay safe